Howdy all, welcome back to lives. I think it's time to play a little Seven Days to Die. Alright. Uh, get out of the way, yuccas. No, you're not yuccas, you're aloes. I'm going to have to move you guys down. I don't... I don't know why they... Oh, did you see that? Did you see it pop over just as I went to hit the button to plant it? Evil, evil mushrooms. Why are you always trying to be on the side. I was kind of... Okay, so I need one, two more. Because I... Oh, look, that gave me one back. Sweet. And then probably work some more. Oop, that did not go on my hotbar. Probably work some more on the old wall downstairs. At least for a little bit. All right, so I need some dirt, and I need some, uh, well, you know what? I need potatoes. Let's go ahead and harvest up the potatoes while we're here. I'm out of food. I got to make more food here. That's, uh, oh, you know what? I got dirt on me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Careful there. I still do not like that you only get basically one potato back for planting and harvesting potatoes. You know, in real life, you plant a potato, and uh, uh, and when it gets to the point where you're going to uh, harvest your potatoes, you usually get, like... 10, 15, 20 potatoes, uh, depending on the type of potatoes. I had to harvest many a potato when I was younger. Uh... I'll tell you the worst thing about uh, potatoes is uh, having to uh, clean out the potato bugs, which would eat the leaves on the potatoes. I hated doing that job. Alright, uh, what goes into making vegetable stew? Potato, corn, mushrooms, and water. Potato, corn, mushrooms, water. Okay, that'll give me some food at least. That's not really where that stuff's supposed to go, but whatever. Oh, you're also supposed to be cooking up a bunch of stuff. I guess I should have turned you back on. Weird. Alright, well, while that's doing that, I am going to head down and get back to work on the old concrete wall down here. Seems to me I've got a spot in here I wanted to... Why do I just have one rebar frame hanging out by itself there? Oh, I already got one in there. It was cement I was lacking. Alright. Yeah, it's been a pretty quiet day. Uh, I, uh... <clears throat> Just got done with work, which is nice. Um, I uh, say, watch an old sitcom all day uh, while I work. 
uh, since my my job is all on the computer, uh, I normally have something going in the uh, corner of my computer screen. I've got two screens, and uh, I only use about one and a half for my job. Uh, so I take advantage of that and usually have Netflix or something. Running something I don't have to pay attention to. Will you hit the stupid thing? Uh, there we go. The stupid thing. Yeah, hit the stupid thing. No, just hit the... Uh, the wall there. I think... I think that's got to be getting pretty close to the wall done uh, all the way. Well, I mean, I've got this weird whatever it is I've done here. Oh, shoot. Oh, we had to know I was going to do that, right? Uh, I guess technically, technically I could put one... No, no, there's there's no other place to put wall because the way I've got this set up. So, all right, so cement wall is in place. I'd like to get some more uh, lights, I guess. Um, I wonder if I should put some doors in here. Well, no, I don't want doors in here because then my my guns can't see out, right? I want that's the whole point. I want my guns to kill the things when they try to come in. Uh, okay, so that's the walls. Uh, so I'm probably gonna have to go get some more wood. And that's not what I wanted to look at. Oh, you're still not there. Stop your whining. I'm working on it, all right? It's going to be a bit before you can get food. Sorry. I haven't been really good at keeping the food supplies stocked up. Honestly, I haven't seen a lot of animals. Um, and that doesn't count. Dang it, I did not want to put metal on my wall like that. I'm so worried about touching this electric fence. Ooh. This thing I'd like to get rid of, but I don't know how to, uh, to get rid of it. Um... It's, uh, it's broken, and it's in the way. So, I really, I really don't know how to deal with the fact that it's broken and in the way. No, we need to... Get away, I'm trying to... Try to put some defenses down, game. Stop trying to put things in the wrong spot. I already had that issue with mushrooms. <laughs> why why are you there? Come on, there's a spot for you right there. There you go. Uh <laughs> Ooh, I finished uh oh, dang it. I finished uh Arcania this weekend. Uh, it was pretty good. I, I enjoy that series. It's, um, it's a RPG, action RPG series. Is this... Oh, man. It's too tall. 
and not shocking me. Oh, then it shocked me. Then it shocked me. As soon as I said it wasn't shocking me. So yeah, that corner of my house is not well defended. Who careful, don't slide into the fence. There's some weird patches of rebar just hanging around. I don't know what's going on there. Um, but yeah, it's uh, uh, it's part of uh, the Gothic series, um, which I really enjoy. They're, uh, well, I just cemented that thing in. They're uh, kind of like Skyrim, only not as um, hmm. Am I out of wood? They won't let me fix that. Weird. I don't know why they won't let me fix that one. There we go. Just being ornery. All right. Uh, I do need to get some more wood. And... I want to get some lights going up underneath there. So I think we'll start with uh, some wood. And maybe some animal... meats. For food, if I can find any animals. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, uh, uh, it's an action RPG, uh, it's not as, uh, heavily skill-based as, uh, like, Skyrim is, like, what I mean by that is, uh, Skyrim has, like, dozens and dozens of skills. Gothic doesn't really go that route. They have a few skills, and so it's mostly just, uh, you know, kind of an action RPG, um without a lot of special skills. Uh, uh, I, like, I, there were only like four four types of spells, and I, I didn't even take spells. <laughs> I put all my points into just swords. Um, I didn't even use the scrolls. There's a whole scroll system in it you can do. There's a lot of crafting involved in the game. Uh, not a lot, I guess. But uh, you can make your own potions and stuff if you can find the ingredients. Um, uh, but, uh, it's, it's pretty fun. I, I've enjoyed them. I, th I want to say there's three different series, um, and Arcania is, like, the sequel to Gothic. And then I'm, there's something about Titans. I don't remember if that's Gothic, uh, but I've, I've played through a lot of the, uh, the gothic and related games. Um, and uh, found them to be rather rather enjoyable. Um, they're more my they're more my style of uh, uh, quote open world RPG. Um, they tend to uh, work in sections, and so, like, uh, you start the game, you're basically trapped in the section you're in until you do the specific quest to move on to the next section. But you're free to roam everywhere in the section that's not locked. Uh, you know, like, there might be some locked doors you gotta get keys for, or stuff like that, like any other game, but, uh, um, it, uh, But I, I prefer where you can deal with a section of game before you move on, rather than, here you go, here's the big giant open world, travel wherever you want. There's no focus. Uh, not that Skyrim is totally like that, um, but I have played some that are just way too open world for me. Uh, and I'd like a little less... A little less open world, because I feel like open world 
detracts from the ability to have a good story. Um, although I know open world is very, very popular, uh, lack of story is very popular. Uh, I don't really care for either of those style of games, but, um, yeah, I, uh, uh, actually just got a, uh, gift card for my, uh, birthday for Steam, and, uh, snagged a couple of, couple of games, one of them doesn't come out till tomorrow, though, uh, well, today, technically, when this video goes up, I'm excited for the new, uh, uh, Battletech game. Uh, I used to love those back in the day, and I uh, was excited to see there's a new one. Hopefully it's really good. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I want to say it's been over ten years, I think, since the last one. Um, but uh, I am looking forward to that tomorrow. And then um, I bought another one called... I'm never going to remember what it's called. Uh, For the King. It's called For the King. Oh man, look at that. I am just straight up ready to eat all three of my vegetable stews, unfortunately. Okay, why don't you take... Turn half of that into sand. And then we'll save the rest of that for making cement. I gotta go do some hunting. I need I need some food supply here. Um, I've got all this uh, vegetable stuff, but I like a good uh, I like a good meal that fills you right up. And um, I guess I need to make more potato farm. The uh, potato farm's too small. I guess. What do you think, Bike? You wanna you wanna head out here and go look for some animals? I think you do. We'll go east. That's zombie. You are not an animal. Uh, uh, for the king, though, is pretty cool. I uh, I've been playing that a little bit, uh, and. Um, I've already already died off once. It's a roguelike board game, I guess you could call it. Um, slash RPG. And uh, so you choose three heroes. They. It kind of reminds me of uh, another game I have that's called like Amalia or something like that. Uh, I like this one better. Um, and... Uh, so you got like a three characters you choose, uh, and uh, as you go, you occasionally pick up books of lore, which allow you to purchase more parts from the lore store. I've been uh, I, I was one lore book off when I f died last time from being able to purchase um, uh, what sounded like a good class. The I already have the blacksmith. You start with the blacksmith, the hunter, and the... Blacksmith, hunter, uh, sage, I think, and bard are the four classes you can pick from. And then I want to purchase the... Lumberjack, I think, which sounds like another melee class. And check that one out. I wasn't too interested in uh, the other two that were available. They didn't really sound like my style of play. Um, not that you, you know, play that closely, but it's a turn-based, um, and, um, and so everything's, a, the whole world is a, uh, hex grid map, basically, and, uh, but it, it changes every turn, uh, and so bad guys appear and disappear, and, um, Ooh, ooh. Yep, I had it. 
And then I... Really? <laughs> what is going on? Hey, you want to shoot that deer? There you go. That's the whole reason we came out was to get some deer. Um, and, uh, so, uh, and so as you go, there's, like, uh, uh, individual little, little bad guy fights pop up, and there'll be, like, three bad guys to fight your three heroes, or if you got your heroes too separated on the map because they move independently, um, maybe you're not close enough to bring all your heroes and you wind up with one or two of your heroes instead. And, um, so, uh, you know, it can get tricky when you wind up with only one of your heroes against three other bad guys. And then there's dungeons, uh, although the dungeons aren't really dungeons so much as waves of bad guys. Uh, and, um, uh, and you get new equipment, and there's potions and plants and, um, stuff like that and uh it's it's pretty fun i uh i'm enjoying it uh it was uh uh oh there's a apparently a box nearby i should go check out here i know there's another one coming out i want to play called uh frost punk I think it's called. It sounded pretty cool. Oh, there's another deer. I gotta stop and get this deer. Uh, but uh, that one, that one wasn't uh, available for purchase yet. Wow, I felt like I hit him. Bleed out, bleed out, and die. Uh, which is really weird because, like, everything goes for pre-purchase. And, uh, I hate, uh, I hate to leave cash on my account. So I usually try to make sure to spend it. Okay, I'm going to go back for my bike at this point. And so I bought uh, Name of the King and, uh, or For the King, For the King and Battletech. Uh, Battletech's a real-time strategy turn-based, turn-based, I think, actually. Uh, where you control a uh, group of mercenaries in a game that plays with giant mechs and so I've really enjoyed previous incarnations of that game and so I am looking forward to the new one uh, I've also played the actual Battletech tabletop game uh, when I was younger, I have a... It's crazy to play, though. The one I have has got so many little parts to it. Um, I love complicated games. And uh, I just hate how much effort it takes to lay out all the pieces so that you can even play. <laughs> it's best if you just have a spot to lay it out and keep it. Um, I keep telling them I'm going to pack up all the D&D stuff because we haven't played in so long so that I can uh, play one of my other complicated board games I've got called uh, Descent Journeys in the Dark. Um, since we're not using the table to play D&D, I might as well 
because uh, I have a gaming table, and so I don't have to move things off of it. In fact, a lot of my Descent stuff is being used to play D&D, uh, and so uh, it wouldn't be too difficult to swap things around a little bit, but... Uh, Man, where? Oh, there it is, right there. Ah. Okay, something's wrong with this dog. Now, where's that buzzard? Oh, man, there's two of them. Ah, oh, he got me. Dang it. He's infected me. Stupid buzzard. Come on, bike. We're going to get hit again if you don't get moving. Um. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there was... I, I only vaguely remember there were, uh, like, little plastic figures uh, for that Battletech game. And then... Um, and then I, I, I seem to remember there being a lot of tokens that you put down on the the map to indicate things like damage, and then your your vehicles they take damage in different spots. So, um, you know, you've got your you've got your giant mech, and uh, you take damage to the leg. Well, maybe he can't walk at his normal speed, or he can't walk at all. But that doesn't stop your arms and torso from working, you know. And so you can still fire, you just can't move. Uh, kind of thing. Um, but anyways, I'm, I'm looking forward to that game tomorrow. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of fun with the, uh, uh, for the king. Uh, and then tonight, of course, is our gaming night. I don't know what we're doing tonight. Uh, nobody's said anything. That's the way they plan out, though. Sometime between now and midnight, <laughs> we will we will begin our game. Uh, and uh, although from the sounds of it, the guy we play with uh, is gonna quit. Uh, not playing games, but he's. Well, no, he's probably going to quit playing games, uh, other than our D&D, &D, maybe. I don't know. He keeps hinting that he doesn't want to do his daily gaming anymore, so. I see you, dinner. Kind of funny how some of these deer just drop dead when I shoot them, and then other ones, <laughs> I shoot them and they run off. It's like make up your mind, deer. Um, but uh, yeah. Ooh, uh, that was uh, that was another thing that happened yesterday. My uh, my sister came in and she's like, "All right, so I want to get you." I want to get you stuff from the uh, online D&D &D deal, which is D&D &D Beyond, which I use to keep some of my characters on for uh, some of the games I play in. And uh, I'm like, all right, because we're possibly going to start using that if we ever play uh, here again. And uh, so I wound up getting everything necessary... Uh, no, I'm I'm sorry. You don't have to have anything to create some characters. Um, you can just go right on their site and sign up, and then they have a free. Whoops, they have a free list of available things, uh, and there's like one one type of each class you can play for free, and uh, and so. It's very easy. You could just go right on and just play. Uh, but if you want more, if you want more, then you have to buy it. Uh, because, I mean, 
in real life, it's the same way. Uh, in real life, non-digitally, uh, you can go to the whoa. You can go to the uh, uh, website for Wizards of the Coast. You can download the basic rules for free, and uh, and with the basic rules, you can play a game. Uh, you don't have to pay for anything other than maybe some dice, but you could go online and get a free dice roller. So you really don't have to pay for anything to play Dungeons and Dragons if you really wanted to. Um, but if you want the extra stuff, you gotta buy the books. And so D&D Beyond has digital versions of the books. And so if you purchase those, though, they become available for the uh, online character builder, which keeps all your character information in an online format for you, which is nice. And um, and so I have uh, been purchasing bits and pieces uh, as I as I go. Dang it, crossbow! Crossbow got me killed. All right, I got me killed, but dang it, crossbow! Why couldn't you have killed that pig and still letting it kill me? Stupid wild boar. They're, like, super dangerous in real life, you know? <laughs> Come on, I got a long way to go. Let's go get my stuff back. Come on. Uh, I think I've got some alcohol. I'm going to have to grab some alcohol out of here. I have a ton of alcohol. I'm going to need it to make this run. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I was pretty surprised, because I figured she was done with all that, and, uh, and then she said she'd like us to have it, and, um, and since I would make the most use out of it, uh, she wanted to buy it for me for my birthday, uh, and so, uh, she did, she got me all the bits and pieces for character creation that I was missing, so now I have everything off of there except, um, the actual digital copies of the books, uh, and because it's a it's a weird thing they've got going on there. So like, like uh, you want to play a fighter, right? You can play a fighter. If you want to play a, I think a champion fighter, you can play a champion fighter for free. If you want to play a battle master fighter, though, you have to purchase the options to unlock battle master information which basically gives you access to the rules in the the digital rule book um, but you can't access those through the rule book you can only access them on the character builder and so if you want to if you want to view the actual book you have to buy the digital copy of the book basically um, and so if you're not if you don't need the digital book and you just need bits and pieces, it's really inexpensive to get just the bits you need. Uh it's like 2 bucks. 2 bucks gets you the battle master. Uh and that's all the parts that go to the battle master, all the rules, all the everything. And um and so I had I had made a few different characters on there and so I needed a few different bits and bobs along the way. And uh and so yeah, it was pretty nice. She uh, she got me all the rest of the bits and bobs. And one of the books, because uh, I had a discount code that uh, equaled, <laughs> equaled the difference between buying the bits I was missing and just getting the entire book. Uh, so I'm, I'm up to two complete books on there. And bits from about seven others. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, I will. I will most likely, uh, sometime in the near future here, be adding the rest of that to my my account as I go. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to get it all on there um, so that I can use it for uh, our home campaign if we get started back up here. That's pretty much the only thing that's been holding me back is my doubt that we ever start the home campaign up. Uh, so when she wanted to buy me a couple of the books, I was like, you know, it'd be better for me if I just get the character builder stuff, because I don't need the monster information, and I don't need, really, the magic item information, because you only really need that stuff um, if I were building a campaign. Uh, 
And since we don't play, <laughs> I just need to build characters for the games that I play in. Uh, and, uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, because it's all online, oops, I done stepped out of mine. Uh, because it's all online, uh, you can, um, do up, like, your notes on the site itself, and when you do your notes, you can use, uh, um, block tags and, uh, tag information from the actual books, and then it will, uh, give you a hyperlink to the actual rules or monster stats or weapon stats uh, and stuff like that when you have all the, the stuff unlocked. I'd like to get to that point because it would be really handy to, uh, you know, just be able to go uh, creature bugbear in my notes for what's in a particular room and then, uh, you know, when we get to the room just click on that and take me right to the stats for a bugbear. Uh, instead of having to flip through books looking for it. <laughs> uh, well, I am going to, uh, I guess, complete my run back to my stuff here, since I uh, couldn't kill a pig. And uh, I guess call it a day here. Uh, hopefully it shouldn't take me too longer, much longer to get back to my stuff, because I've got some other things to do before too long here, before... Uh, so I can be ready for game night, so. Alright. Click leave a like, subscribe, and catch the next one. This is a weird building. Uh, oh, it's a Trader Jewels. I was wondering what the deal was. It didn't look like a Trader Jewels, though, with that house on the corner. Like that. And I thought maybe it was some kind of new compound. Anyways... I will talk to you later. <laughs>